Hey everyone, welcome back to an episode of Create with Linda. So today is Wednesday, is it? Wednesday? Yeah. It's Wednesday? Yeah, yes. Okay. Today is Wednesday and I'm going to be doing a what's for dinner. What I'm doing tonight for dinner, guys, is I'm making shake and bake chicken. I'm going to make some bone-in thighs and I'm going to make some boneless chicken breast um well chicken barbecue. chicken tenders and i'm gonna make a couple of barbecue for jen so yeah so that's what i'm gonna do so i'm, I'm preparing it so i'm getting this the chicken ready to go into the bag i have this this is the aldi brand i've never used it before but i assume it's good i hope it's good i bought this from aldi this is um parmesan garlic it looked really good so mm, it smells good so what i'm gonna do guys is i'm gonna put a little bit of olive oil on the bottom of this pan that I have here. Put this here like this so I can show you. This pan. I have the chicken here. Oh, I just got a fork. No. Now, I wet this a little. I, I put these um, chickens under water so they would get a little damp so I can put them into the... Which I'm making a mess. I'm, put, I'm putting them in the bag to shake Mommy, and bake why the, them. Why the chicken big? What do you mean? Like that? On the plate. I don't know why it's big. Chicken bar. In the bag. I'm going to make broccoli and cauliflower with it. Um, I'm not sure. I might make something else with it. i got to look and see what i got in my cabinet. But You're going to make broccoli and cheese. Yeah, she, thinks that, she thinks this is a restaurant. Get all these coated. I haven't had shake and bake chicken in a long time. Guys, I'm sorry. I haven't got gotten to talk about it Tuesday up yet. Talk about it Tuesday is going to be late this week, obviously. Hopefully I'll get it up by today or tomorrow. Just been a little off since I got home, guys, from P from PA. And um, you know, I had <clears throat> I had the shot, the second shot the other day, and today it like wiped me out. I mean, I slept like three or four hours today. I was exhausted. Just I feel okay. I just have a little bit like of um, I don't know, like cold, like cold symptoms, you know. Um, but other than that, I don't feel bad. I don't feel that bad. Thank God, so. Alright. Right, a little on here because it missed, somehow missed it. All right, guys, so I did the chicken thighs. Now I have these um, these boneless chicken tenders that I'm going to do some of them in, and then I'm going to do some, a few um, barbecue. Yay. So, guys, just so you know, I wanted to tell you, we got great news back from, um, from Joan's um, daughter, from my niece that everything is great with her test everything went really well so we're so so excited guys we're not we're not sure yet she has to have surgery to get um she had like a little mass on her on the, her spine um we're not sure if she um has to get surgery yet but thank god it's it's all good so we'll find that out but we're very very happy guys so very happy to hear that god is good it really is good. Mommy? 
Alright. We gotta come over here, cause. See, guys. Mommy, go on. Yeah. Wait, oh, want me to show me something? Hmm? Hi, guys. Nice to see you guys again. How are you? How are you guys doing? Oh, look at her hair. My hair is different. And he got her hair done. Mom. What? This is the purse I'm going to bring. Oh, okay. That's a good idea. Don't be this. Yeah, that's nice. That's nice. How did they do it? Mom, to make how long did they come it? I think. Uh, like I will. They can't. Abby really can't see it right now. Let me do this, and we'll show them again your hair. Jenny got her hair done by her sister. Yeah. And it looks really good, guys. We'll show you the after. Okay, see. This one's a little sparse. These are gonna be so good. get much on it for some reason. It gets chunky after a while and it doesn't really coat that well. Notice. Okay, so I got those chicken tenders in there like that. I like chicken tenders, Mommy. I know. And I wash my hands. This I'm gonna throw out because that's done. Uh, let me get another pan. Got this pan here. Okay. All right, guys. So these right here, I'm just coating with salt and pepper, garlic powder, and onion powder, and I'm gonna put um, barbecue sauce all over, over them. Mommy, can I help put you put the barbecue sauce on? Please. Now it's very simple, honey. I'm just gonna do it right here and I'm gonna stick it in the oven. But I like help. Okay, well this actually really can't be helped with. Well, I'm just gonna throw the barbecue sauce on top. Looks like it farts. Barbecue sauce. Mm -hmm. I'm fixing your shirt on because your shirt's rather thick. End of this one. In the back. I'm just going to use my hand to spread this on to the chicken a little bit. And the oven's preheated to 400. So I'm going to put all this chicken in. All right. All right, guys, see? Here's the barbecue chicken. Put this in. Let me see the barbecue chicken looks like, Mommy. Oh, it looks like that. Barbecue chicken. I'm gonna put, oh, you know what I do with this? I forget. I always put a little with my shake and bake chicken. I forgot. Did I put, I don't know if I put pepper on this. Do you put, Mom, I'm baking chicken. Do you put uh, parsley put, on it? Do I put parsley on it? No. Yeah, that's all going to the right. No. Because I love you put parsley. I put a little bit onion. I don't like onion. On this. And what I do, guys, is like I said, I put a little piece of butter on each piece of chicken. I've always done that with my um, with my shake and bake chicken. It just makes it nice and moist. So that's what I do. I put a little pad of butter. little piece. I have much for this one, but I'll just put a little bit on each. Hey, Mommy, maybe later can I tell about something? Uh-huh. About what me and you're going to do together? Yeah. Okay, now I'm going to put this in. See you guys. That's the chicken, right, Mommy? Chicken, 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 chicken. 
Okay. All right, guys, here's the broccoli and cauliflower cooking. I'm just sauteing it. I had to put it in two pans because there was just too much in this, in this one pan. So I just put it in two separate pans. We got the chicken cooking. Let me put the light on and I'll try to show you guys. I don't know if you could see. You can kind of see, right? Chicken in there cooking. And Jenny wants you to see her hair. Look at how pretty her hair is, guys. Hi, Julie Kelly. cut it. Julie cut it and yeah, my sister she cut colored it. it. Yeah, it's different. Right? So different, guys. Um, well, tell them that they can make a comment for me. Okay. They tell can, them. Tell them you can, they can make a comment guys, you can make about a, your hair, right? You can make a comment, a comment about my hair, guys. I will love it if you make a comment about my hair. Okay. So guys, when I went to PA, I got this. I'm sure you guys saw it on my video. I got this, um, why oh, this is up here. That um, container that I'm gonna plant flowers in and put outside. Guys, I got these lemon salt and pepper shakers. Are they the cutest thing? And this lemon little thing. I'm sure you guys have seen this on um, Family Moss TV on uh, Fallon. She got this, and I saw this, and, and, and I was like, oh, my God, I got I to gotta find it. And I found it at Dollar General in PA. I didn't really look at New York, so I'm sure I could have found it, but I, but I, you know, I didn't look for it. But since I was in Dollar General with, with my girl the other day, I saw it. I was like, oh, my God, I have to get that, guys. I love it. I'm going to put it outside on my table with my little lemon salt and pepper shakers. It's so cool. Absolutely Bobby. love it. So that's the stuff that I got in PA, just a couple of things. I didn't really get much there, but, um, but I thought these were so cute and I'm so excited about them. So guys, I need your opinion. How ripe do bananas have to be to make banana bread? Is that too ripe? Comment down below guys, because I need to know, do I throw them out or can I make banana bread with them? I know that like these over here are pretty good probably, but these right here are like totally black. So I'm wondering if they're going to be still good or if they're going to be like bitter or whatever. But um, if so, I'm going to make banana bread with them probably tomorrow. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get it done tonight. But comment below if you guys know about the situation with bananas for banana bread. All right. Thanks. There you go, guys. Look at that. Look at the char on the broccoli and cauliflower. See that little like burnt? It got a little foggy there. So good, guys. I'm going to cover it and let it sit because it's all done. I don't want it to get mushy. All right, guys, so I kind of just answered my own question. I looked it up on, I Googled it to see about the, um, about how um, ripe the bananas have to be. And they said there is no, it can't be black enough. So I would say that this is pretty black. <laughs> they said that the better, the darker the, the darker, the darker the banana, the better the banana bread. So. I might, after dinner, attempt to make banana bread because I really want, just wait, I really want to get these bananas. I don't want to waste them, and I know a couple more days, and they're going to be garbage. So I think I'm going to make it. So I got, this is the lightest one here, but, yeah, it's funny. Jenny was on a banana kick eating bananas every night, so I bought, like, two bu bushels of them. Of course, the time I buy the two bushels of them, they don't. she doesn't eat a lot of them. I do eat them. Well, yeah, but, you know, so that's okay. This one is really, look at it. Can I um, tell them something? It's really on the way. People? What do you want to tell the people? I want to tell them about me. Guys, what do you think about, okay, one second. What do you think about my hair? My bestie, she's a hairdresser too, and she cut my hair the other day because there were some strands that, you know, Julie doesn't have a lot of experience with curly hair yet, so um, Joan just like, um, um, she like, what's the word? What's the word? Oh, like shaped it a little bit on top because it was a little too long. So, yeah, so we got a haircut while I was there. Had a lot of fun, guys. We had, a, we had so many laughs, guys. When we're together, we just laugh and laugh and laugh. Not without me. We've known each other since we're in eighth grade, and it was the type of friendship that <laughs> I walked into social studies, and, like, she was there, and then we just we bonded immediately. And, you know, and, and it was it was sad because... After high school, for some reason, we don't know why, we can't even explain it, we just lost touch. And like, to even fathom that we lost touch, 
was so hard to think because we were always together. We were like, we were like, you know, connected at the hip. And, and after high school, for some reason, she went one way and I went another. And I guess we just did different things. And guys, and we were, we were, we were apart for a lot of years, a lot of years. Um, so yeah, but you know, that's all water under bri- under the bridge. We can't do anything about that now. All we can do is move forward and we're, we're so, so close like sisters and, and um, just love it. And, you know, it's so nice to have somebody from your, from your um, teenage years to bond that you bonded with and just, you know, have such fun memories with and, you know, fond memories and all that. So yeah, so um, Let me know if you're it's done so great. T- uh, all right, so Jenny wants the camera for a second. Guys, me and Mom are gonna be doing something together this week. This week coming up. Can I tell them what we're gonna make, Mom? Mm-hmm. We're gonna make chocolate bananas with peanuts and rainbow sprinkles. But you have to use these lollipop sticks. We have to get those. Yeah, we gotta get them. Now you can tell them what that was stuff about it, Mom. What other stuff? Remember about the about the bananas. What am I gonna tell? You told them, right? But you can tell some parts of it. One second. Talk to them because I'm checking the chicken. Okay. And guys, I'm doing right now. I'm doing this this color by number. It's uh, my favorite. I love doing color by number. It's so much fun. It's the chicken tenders and guys. Um, chicken tenders are probably five minutes away from being done. The chicken thighs, I would say like another ten, ten minutes. Uh, and then we'll eat. <laughs> and then we'll eat, guys. Well, I told them if we're gonna put, we're gonna make chocolate. Yeah, we're gonna make chocolate covered bananas. It's one of Jennifer's favorite things. Um, to but make, this one's so. different. We're going to have peanuts and rainbow sprinkles. Yeah, we're going to dip them in some um, in some sprinkles and everything. And peanuts. Gosh, don't you just love this? I wish it smelled. I should spray some lemon juice on it or something. Mm-hmm. Is this the cutest thing? When I saw Fallon from Moss Family TV have this, I just love this. It was only $5. I think it was $5. Dollar General. Dollar General, guys, is an is not sponsoring this or I'm not sponsoring them or however you say it. Um, but I just love Dollar General. They got the cutest stuff there. They really doing so reasonable. I mean these were two dollars, these little things. I gotta fill them. I wanna put them outside on my um on my table out there. Aren't they the cutest little things? I love lemon guys. I have a lemon um cutting board, I have a lemon little bowl. I mean lemon little um <coughs> casserole dish and I just love lemon so yeah that means you're like obsessed with so lemons yeah I'm a little obsessed with lemons <laughs> I really am but isn't this the cutest that Cooper was trying to get it guys he was trying to get it like it was like as like as if it was a ball we're gonna choke him like a chicken choke him like a chicken choke him like a so yeah so let me go check that um, chicken, chicken and let me talk to them what do you want to say to them I don't know, I just want to talk to them. I mean, you can, you can have to do what you have to do. Okay? Okay. Good. Hey, guys. Look at this picture I'm doing. You want to see it? Look. Hey. It's a picture of, look, flowers. See, guys? Oh, they see it, right? Mm-hmm. Look at that picture. Yeah. Very pretty. See, guys? I love doing color by number. It's so much fun, guys. You should try it on your phones. They're really fun, too. So guys, I hope you have a good day today. I hope you're having a great day and having fun, have, having a great day. But I don't like the crap being rainy days. Yeah, it's going to be rainy. I don't like days. it. Mom. I like it either. I like nice and sunny days. I like nice sunny and sunny days, guys. Days. Mommy, that's from Sesame Street. That song you just sing. On my way to where the air is clean. I'm not singing that Sesame Street song, guys. Have to get to Sesame Street. Oh my god. Who watched Sesame Street, guys? 
I love sesame street. Big Bird and Ernie. I used to watch that when I was little, Mom. I love you. Remember? So, guys, what should I put in here? What do you think? Well, I can't talk to Should I put, like, I was thinking, um, in the floral, in the floral place where I got it, they had, um, they had real flowers in here, and then, um, there was a couple of them that had, like, fake flowers. What I was thinking was do, of doing was, for the spring and summer, I think I'm going to do real flowers in here and put them, and put them outside. And I think for the winter, and the fall and the winter, I'm going to empty it out and everything, and then I'll get, like, pretty, um, pretty, like, fake things to put in here for like that season what do you think guys right i think that's what i'm gonna do so i gotta go and get flowers i'm not gonna go yeah i'm not gonna get them yet because it's a little early yet and we still have some chilly days this week at the end of the week it's supposed to freaking i was supposed to have sleet or something i'm like are you for real Wait, it's what, april what are you talking about i guess april showers brings may flowers right but anyway, Mommy, what? tell them my birth, my birthday. Wow, oh, Jenny, everybody knows, I'm sure, because you told them over and over. Jenny's birthday is May 8th, guys. I'm sorry, I'm excited. I know she's excited. She's going to be 42. You're no, going to be 42? No, 30. 32. Oh, I thought you were going to be 42. No, 32. I'm 31 now. I'll be 32, Mom. Ah, uh, she's going to be 42, guys. No. I mean, 32. Uh. She's going to be 32, guys. She's getting old. I mean, Don't I'm getting old. Her. I'm going to be 32. Don't say that other number. Guys, she's going back to program in about a week. Celebrate good times. Come on. Woohoo. My mom's cuckoo, everyone. Cuckoo crazy. Listen, she, she needs it. <laughs> she absolutely needs it, guys. Right? Yes, mommy, I okay, love so much. Let me go check the chicken. Oh. Yes. Hey, what's oh. up, guys? What's up, homies? <laughs> I'm doing right now. I'm still doing another picture. I'm doing another picture of color by number right now, guys. You want to see? I'm doing this one. It's a different. You don't see it yet, but it's like a different picture. I wanted it. I'm doing right now. So I'm bringing this closer Is this to me. No. It's the meat. It's a mommy and daughter show. It's a mommy and daughter show. Yeah. <laughs> I think these chicken tenders are done. They're saying they're done. Right now, I'm doing color. Gotta get all these spots right here in this picture. Cause when you guys, you, if you get this whole picture nice and pretty, you guys, you guys, you better try this. This is a great color by number. Mommy, so everyone can see you in the background. Hi, guys. <laughs> I love being with my mommy, guys, because I love baking with my mom. I love hanging out with her. I like seeing her, my mom, every day. I love seeing her. And I really do. She likes driving her mother crazy. No, I... <laughs> guys, don't listen to her. I don't drive my mom crazy. She don't drive my mom crazy. No, I don't. I don't know about that. Mom. Anyway, guys. Anyway. And I don't forget, guys, if we make those, when we do make those banana things, we will show you how we make them. Right, Mom? Those banana things? Mm -hmm. Yep. It's gonna be so it's like the other chicken good. Are done too, guys. She's waiting on the chicken thighs now. And how's the barbecue chicken, mom? Those are done. I'm gonna show them in one minute. Guys, I love barbecue chicken. Uh, when did I first know like par barbecue chicken, mommy? You've always liked it. I just always liked it, right? Yeah. Right now, I'm just going to, tomorrow, I don't know. Oh, tomorrow I have Zoom tomorrow with my other program tomorrow, guys. Right, Mom? Mm -hmm. And then I don't know what I'm doing after that because I know I have Zoom in the morning and Zoom in the afternoon. Let me take them over and show them the, um. Okay, can I say bye? <laughs> bye, guys. Bye, guys. So, guys, the chicken tenders, the barbecue ones are done. I tested them. Look how yummy those look. And look how yummy these look, guys. You know what I do, guys? I melt butter in a little um, uh, contain, a little thing, and I um, pour 
liquid butter over just a little bit because I felt like they were they looked a little bit dry. So I wanted to um, put more butter, put more butter on it. So that's what I did. See, guys, I put I melted a little bit of butter. Can't really see it, but I melted butter in this little measuring thing. And um, because I put butter on top of all the chicken, but it didn't really, you know, it didn't really get it all. So I wanted to make sure that, because um, I wanted to make sure that they're nice and moist. We don't like dry chicken. And those are also, guys, those are chicken, those are chicken tenders, which is the white meat, which you know is not my favorite in the world. But I had those and I still have like four or five left that I have to use because I had bought chicken tenders instead of buying, buying chicken cutlets. I haven't bought chicken cutlets, God, and it's gotta be two months. I always buy the boneless thighs now. We rarely eat chicken cutlets anymore, but I said we haven't had them in so long, so I, I got the, I was at Sam's, so I got the chicken, um, I got the chicken tenders instead, figuring, you know, we can, we can eat those instead of having the chicken cutlets. So that's why, I'm, that's why I made those, because I need to use them up. All right, guys, I have these out of the oven. I'm just gonna check one of them and see if it's done. It's supposed to be 165. This is saying, well, that's saying 176. Hmm. Let's try this one and see what this one is. That one says 178. I don't know. Sometimes I get nervous. I trust in these things. <laughs> Let's see. And that says 195. All right, so what I'm going to do, they look done, guys. I'm going to pour this butter over it. Look. See? See what I'm going to do? Pour the butter. Just so they stay a little moist. I don't want them to be dry. All right, I'm gonna check them. Just, um, I'm gonna cut through it and just make sure that it's 100% done and then I'll be back. Now guys, look at that. That sh that's pink. Good thing I checked it. That stupid thermometer, both of them. I have these two thermometers, that one and the new one. And they're both saying that it's done. That is not done. See, you gotta always check it. I don't know. I guess I need new thermometers. So I put them back in, guys. I guess they need like another like 10 minutes. Yeah, good thing I checked. I don't understand why that would say it was done when it's not done. But that's why you can't depend 100%. You have to, even though, you know, the thermometer said that. What is this, third chin here or something? Um, even though, guys, listen, okay. I, I haven't mentioned Weight Watchers and that's because I haven't been on it the last couple of weeks. I've been very bad. I've been totally off, especially going to PA. I just gave myself permission to be bad, and I was bad. So um, when I got back, I started being better. My numbers are better and all of that. But I'm going to get serious about Weight Watchers again, get right back on track because, I mean, I'm paying for it, and, you know, I want to take advantage of it as much as I can, and obviously I need to lose some weight. So, yeah, so we'll just get back on track, guys. That, that's all I can do, you know. Life happens. You, things happen. You live in life. You're, you know, some things get derailed, and that's the way it is, you know. And I'm not going to beat myself up for it. So, and I hope no judgments here. No, don't judge me, guys, because you know what? It's my life. It, what, what's that song by, um, what's his name? From the guy from American Idol. It's my life. Oh, no, I don't know if that's him. I forget who sings that. But that's a great song. It's my life, and that's all there is about it. So, yeah, so I'm going to wait for that chicken to be done, and then I'll be back. Nice. All right, guys, so they seem to be ready. I tested them. I checked them. They look done. So we're going to eat. I'll be back with my plate. All right, guys, here's my plate. I got a chicken thigh. I got a, a boneless um, tender, and I got broccoli and cauliflower, and I'm going to get a lemon and sprinkle some lemon on my stuff, and I'm ready to eat, guys. All right, guys, so um, this is what's for dinner tonight, chicken, a quick chicken um, shake and bake, guys. I hope it's good. I'm sure it will be, um, and broccoli and cauliflower. And so um, I'll see you on the next video. Don't forget to 
hit that like button on the bottom with the notification button with the bell so you guys can be notified every time I upload. All right, guys, see you on the next video. Bye.